Hey, what's up everybody? Still reporting on the events that happened this past weekend at San Diego Comic Con. Today we will be talking about Wonder Woman 1984. Some interesting events happened this past weekend regarding the movie. One thing is, there was footage shown. This is pretty shocking considering that filming has only just begun for Wonder Woman 1984, but San Diego Comic Con is famous for studios giving a first look at their new movies coming out. The footage was obviously still rough, but it gave people a different insight on what the movie will be like. One fan did manage to snap a couple of photos of the trailer, which are these that you see here. Based on what everyone described, it started out in a mall. Wonder Woman was wearing her Wonder Woman costume, which is said to be brighter than before. And based off this photo taken from the trailer right here, it does in fact look a little bit brighter. It goes on to show Wonder Woman saving a little girl from two criminals. Wonder Woman crushes the criminal's guns with her bare hands, then she throws the little girl into a giant teddy bear to get her out of the way and into safety. And as you can see in this picture, it seems to be taken right when Diana has the guns in her hands. Wonder Woman then pulls out the lasso of truth, lassos the two bad guys, and jumps over a balcony pulling them with him. We then cut to a logo of Wonder Woman 1984. We then see footage of Diana running through the streets very fast to a point where she's almost flying. When one of the fans was describing the footage that they saw, they said, The spirit of the footage is fun, and ironically, seemingly a bit sillier and goofier than perhaps we'd expect. Take that last comment with a grain of salt because, like I said, it's rough footage, it's nowhere near complete, so the fact that it seems sillier and goofier may not really be the case once it's all complete and edited. However, they could be going that way. DC has been pretty dark the last few years, and it hasn't really worked for them very well, and we know that Aquaman, Shazam, and Wonder Woman 1984 are going to be more lighthearted than the previous movies that we've seen over the handful of years. So maybe they are going this way, but let's hope it's not too silly because the first Wonder Woman movie was fantastic, so I hope they keep the same direction that they were going with with the first one. And the last piece of news that we got, which is really shocking and quite a surprise to me, and that is that Wonder Woman 1984 isn't actually a sequel. It's not a part two to the first Wonder Woman movie that we saw, it's its own standalone movie. Gal Gadot's actual words were, it's not a sequel, and director Patty Jenkins said, it's a standalone tale due to her not wanting to just keep it going. She explained that she's making a completely different sort of film to the first Wonder Woman movie, and she made it clear that it's not more of anything and that it's its own thing. So I'm a little confused. I can certainly grasp the concept of what she's doing, I just can't really figure out why. Well, I can think of a lot of reasons why, but it's just a very interesting approach to the movie. This does, however, explain how Steve Trevor is back. If this is not a sequel and it's its own standalone movie, then technically the last Wonder Woman movie didn't happen. So if you're basically going to redo a Wonder Woman movie, of course you're going to have the two biggest characters, with the exception of Wonder Woman of course, Steve Trevor, who is Diana's love interest, and Cheetah, who is one of the biggest Wonder Woman villains in the comics. So, although I'm not really sure what route they're trying to go with this movie, I do like the fact that they are bringing Steve Trevor back. Certainly an interesting move, the first Wonder Woman movie was great in my own personal opinion, and I really hope this one is too. I'm eager to see what happens. What do you all think? Talk to me in the comments below. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel if you want to stay up to date on everything happening with Wonder Woman 1984, all things DC, Marvel, and superhero. Thank you so much for watching, woof woof.